Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So recently I was opening some fan mail and I was sent this Baby Alive doll by a five-year-old girl, I forget her name, but she sent this doll and named her Isla and I decided that I wanted to do something with this doll. So I decided that I am gonna fix it up because you can see her hair is kind of crazy. So I'm gonna fix that, but I decided that I wanted to try and make it into a boy doll, a boy baby alive, and I just wanted to show you how I'm going to do that. So you, if you guys want to, with your parents' permission, make one of your dolls a boy, then you will know how I did it. But please don't try and do this to your dolls without your parents' permission because you don't want them to get mad if you ruin your dolls. And you might even want their help. Anyways, I just thought it would be really fun to try and turn this doll into a boy. So we are going to get started. The materials I'm gonna be using are this um, Suave Kids Apple um, hair detangler to help with the messy hair. I have an American Girl doll wire brush. I also have a broken one, um, just in case. Sometimes I like the broken one better. I have this like Dora brush, just cause this works pretty well. Um, I have a Baby Alive brush, and I have a Baby Alive comb. And then I have some scissors and some blue paint and a paintbrush, that's acrylic paint. So we're gonna be using all these things and possibly more, I might use like plain water. And we're just gonna make this doll into a boy. Let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the clothing and stuff from the doll. This was just a tag that said her name was Isla. I'm gonna remove her clothing and her diaper and everything. Oh, this doll's different than I thought she was. I thought this was um, a different doll. Okay, this one talks, and I didn't know that. Hi, Mommy. Oh, I didn't know she talked. I have a food bowl, Mommy. Oh, I didn't realize that Can was you this. Get her? I don't really use my dolls on anyways, so I'm fine with her talking, but um, I thought this was a different doll. There we go. So we can take off her diaper. She will still be able to wear diapers and stuff but we're just gonna take that stuff off. So she does have painted on underwear, which is perfect for her to be a boy because there's no private parts. I am gonna be painting that blue and I'm also going to be painting her bracelet blue. Uh, we're also now just going to take out her hair. I'll probably like wash the doll off a little bit later, but I'm gonna be taking her hair out of this and then just trying to brush it a little bit. I have her clothes off and her hair is out and I decided before I try and brush it, I'm gonna take her to the sink and just wash her hair with like some shampoo and conditioner. So I'm gonna go do that. I don't think I'll film it just so I don't get my camera wet, but I'm gonna go do that to the doll right now. This is what my doll looks like after I've shampooed and conditioned her hair. So now I'm going to just, um, I towel dried it and I'm just gonna try and brush it out and make it um, look neat. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. And I'm probably gonna have to use the um, detangling spray. My doll's hair can now be very easily brushed out, which is perfect. So this is how I want it to be right now. Just like easy to brush through. Like I can comb through this. I've used like all the brushes on it and they can just all go through really nicely. So now is the time when I'm gonna start trying to cut the hair. I'm gonna try and pick a style to do. Like I might do some little bangs and I just want it to be like a short, not too short, but it's, um, cause she does have like plastic parts underneath. So we gotta be careful about how much I cut. So I'm not gonna cut it too short cause you wanna start long cause you can always go shorter, but you cannot add hair back once the doll is already cut. So I'm going to just start cutting the hair. You guys might wanna see this. That's why I thought I might try and show some of this. I'm just using a pair of like these, these are like safety kid scissors, but we're gonna try these. If they don't work, I'll get better scissors. I'm sure they will work, but yeah. We're gonna like just use the comb. Gonna take a little bit of the hair, just like a small section, kind of like how a hairdresser would do it and like just pull it up. I'm gonna cut it maybe like right here. I'm trying to cut it. It's slippery, the hair. There we go. Got the first cut. And see, I might try and turn these into bangs or something. 
So I'm just gonna basically be cutting the hair and styling it as I go, and I'll let you guys know what she looks like in a little bit. I just wanted to give you guys an update. This is not done. I just kind of made the hair shorter into like a bob to make it easier to work with. She looks pretty cute with her hair like this right now, but like I said, we're gonna be cutting. It's not even, e it's like not even at all. I'm just trying to make it shorter to make it easier to work with, and now I'm gonna be styling it and cutting it how I want it to look. So this is where it really gets to be where I want it to look really nice. All right, here she is, or I should say he. I tried to get some layers in the back and it's it's still kind of long, but it's like still, it's like short enough that you know it's a boy. And so, especially once he'll be wearing boy clothes and stuff, it'll look a lot more boyish. I am gonna start painting the bracelet and the underpants. And I also think I might try and like, um, darken the eyebrows and make them thicker and I also might just try and make the face look a little bit more boyish I guess and maybe darken the lips a little bit so they don't look as like pink and girly so we're just gonna try and like define some of his features to try and make it look more boyish. He looks a lot more masculine now because I used a pencil and drew an outline of eyebrows then I used a sharpie and filled it in. Oops. So they will be permanent and he looks a lot more masculine now. So now I'm just gonna like take the paintbrush and I'm gonna start with the bracelet and paint it in and then I will do the diaper or, or underpants I guess. So we're gonna do that right now in blue. The paint is still drying a little bit but here's the bracelet all colored in blue. I did I think three coats and I decided I'm not gonna paint the diaper just because like it is the same color as the rest of the doll. It's just like plastic and he's probably gonna have a diaper on anyways. So he's pretty much done. I'm just gonna wait for the paint to dry and then I'm gonna give him a little outfit to see how he looks as a boy. I'm pretty excited. I've never made a custom boy doll before. I think I did pretty good for my first time and I've been wanting to make a boy doll for a really long time. Um, I originally wanted to make one out of the blonde ready for school doll, um, but I never ended up doing it. And I'm really excited that I did it with this doll. I decided on a name for him and that's gonna be Jaden. So this is baby Jaden. Jaden, say hi. Hi guys, my name's Jaden. I'm a big brother. Yes, you're a brother. And I'm not wearing any clothes. Yeah, so that's Jaden. We're gonna get him an outfit but his paint is still drying, but then he'll be done. All right, here's baby Jaden. So now we're gonna change him. Here we go, Jaden. And then the outfit I picked out to put on him, <laughs> that looks really cute as it is. So this one's like a blue sweater. It's this little star, and then I have these little boo uh, blue booties. We'll put these on him and see how this looks. All right, I don't know if this will fit over his head. I don't wanna stretch it, because it fits Liam pretty well. I'd like them to be able to share clothes easily. Okay, that's easier. Come on, Jaden. Don't be difficult. Ah, oh, he's sticking his fingers through the holes. Of course. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Jaden. That looks <laughs> cute. Now we can give him the little booties. There we go. That looks so cute. All right guys, this is my new Boy Baby Alive Jaden custom made boy. Thank you all so much for watching me make little baby Jaden. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments let us know what you think of him. And we'll see you guys later. I look forward to more videos with Jaden. Bye.